Hi, I'm Old Norse Specialist Dr. Jackson Crawford. The Vikings are a people we love to project our fantasies onto, and this has been true for more than a thousand years. Today, both left-wing fantasies of radical gender equality and environmental stewardship, as well as far right-wing right fantasies of racial purity and paramilitary social organization, are projected onto the Vikings every day of the week in hundreds of games, movies, and internet forums, but I doubt any of these were recognizable priorities to the Scandinavian merchants and pirates in their heyday during the 9th to 11th centuries AD. But this is already true in the Old Norse literature we study for clues about Viking society. The sagas of Icelanders that depict Norway and Iceland during the Viking Age, or the mythical heroic sagas that celebrate ancient pagan heroes, or the poetic Edda or Snorri's prose Edda with their collections of lore about the old gods and champions, weren't written by the men who raided monasteries, but by their great, 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 great grandchildren who lived in monasteries 200 or 300 years later. The Vikings themselves wrote very little in the runic alphabet they knew, mostly short memorials and graffiti that tell us very little about their culture and thoughts. And their contemporaries romanticized them in the opposite direction, painting a portrait of thoughtless demons of destruction with a few precious exceptions, like the reasonably objective Arab, Arab writer Ibn Fadlan. So in interpreting artifacts and burials from the Viking Age, we rely and probably over-rely on the writings of their Christian descendants in Iceland, who were as removed from, their, from Viking times as we are from the birth of Thomas Jefferson. That doesn't mean that what they wrote down was worthless. Poetry especially can survive nearly unchanged for centuries in oral transmission. But it does mean that we need to look at the sagas in the same way we look at westerns, whether fictionalized biographies of real people or the fantastic epics of the spaghetti westerns. The sagas are entertainment, and while there are probably a lot of real facts about Viking society and Viking warriors in there, we need to remember that the heroes are larger than life, tougher, cleverer, and handsomer than any one real person ever was, and dealing with high drama and adventure every day, whereas the real men and women of the Viking Age probably spent their time, mostly like everyone else has since the first human walked, trying to get by and feed themselves and their families, sometimes violently if someone else who seemed weaker had something they needed. In other words, let's resist the temptation to look at the Vikings through the lens of our fantasies or someone else's. They didn't wear a horned helmet and sing opera, they probably had a much less organized conception of their gods and cosmos than we wish they had, and I doubt women warriors or shield maidens appeared as regularly on battlefields as they do in sagas, which isn't to say that they never existed. Judge the Vikings by the sagas the same way you judge 2011 by Fast Five, and you'll come closer to Viking reality. Now a little bit about this channel and why I do this in the first place. For me, Vikings are a job. They're not my hobby, they're not my identity. And I find that since in 2017, the internet has largely replaced the library, people are looking for good information about Vikings, Norse myth, the old Norse language, and finding mostly stuff that's written by people who either have an agenda and or don't have the necessary expertise to really know what they're talking about. I envision my channel as a place where I leave my own prejudices and agenda, such as it might be, aside, and just present the information that I wish was out there for people to judge uh, Old Norse society, language, and mythology by. If the uh, channel succeeds in that goal, if it gets people to read the original primary sources, like the Poetic Edda, the Saga of the Volsungs, the Saga of Ragnar Lothbrok, all of which I've translated into contemporary English, then I'm very happy uh, that it's succeeding in that. And I'm not doing this for money, although I do have a Patreon page where people can choose to support me with small amounts every month to help keep this channel going. So, again, I just want to emphasize that this is, that this is the study of a people more or less through the literature of their descendants, so it's imperfect. And whenever we find artifacts that actually date from the Viking Age, we need to be really careful that we're studying that with a scientist's eye and not with an eye that, that seeks to, to project something that we want or something that the Vikings' Christian descendants in Iceland wanted. For now, from beautiful Colorado, I am, as usual, wishing you all the best.